the blues. Its roots go way back, signifying heartache and sorrow for so many, more often than not, and for a profound reason. I had arrived in a small southern town. It was clean, quiet, even a little boring, but still a good place to grow up in, as long as you have white skin. If you're black, though, you're a second-class citizen, expected to know your place and stay in it. To Wayne and his gang, this was the way they wanted things to stay. But in 1961, things are about to start changing, and this is the place where it all began, the local high school. Hey, Wayne. Hey, Billy Bob. Give me a hand with these chicks here. They all won't leave me alone. Ah, oh, Billy. Thinks he's quite something, don't he? Yeah. Come on, Wayne. Tell us that story again. Can you tell me where I go to enroll around here? I'm new. I'm new around here as well. Why don't we look together? By the way, I'm Annie. Annie Collins? Jess. Hi. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to enroll. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> She's gonna enroll. You hear that, everybody? She's gonna enroll. She's gonna enroll here? Who does she think she is? You got the wrong place. This here's a white school. I have the right to be here. The new law says I can. We say you can't. I have the right. You ain't got no rights. Get out of here. Go. I have the right. <laughs> Leave her alone! Get away from her! Get hurt. I don't care. What's going on here? What is the meaning of this disgraceful exhibition? It's Irving. <gasps> Wayne Shore. I might have known you'd have something to do with this. Mr. Irving? I'm Lucy James. Yes. I'm here to enroll. Well, well not in my school, young lady. I have the right. The new law says I... I don't care what the law says. I do not have Negroes in my school. Now you better find your way out of here. Or I'll have you thrown out. <laughs> so, are you gonna come in and roll on? In this place? No way, Jose. Listen. No, stay away from me, okay? Coward, yellow belly racist. I could see why Annie thought that I didn't believe in equality, but I really did support the civil rights movement, and it was impossible to convince her otherwise. Annie, hold on. Go away, just leave me alone. What is it? This guy do something to you? No, honestly. Daddy, it was horrible. What was? What's happened? There was this black girl. She wanted to enroll. Oh, uh, I see. They were awful to her. He just drove her away, and they laughed at her, and he... He did nothing. He just stood there. Look, I'm really sorry. Don't be sorry, son. You did just right. Daddy? He even held me back. Good. Thank you. You're as bad as he is. I mean, you won't do what you know is right. Annie, I work for a local company. If they see me as a troublemaker, I'm out of my ear. Is that what you want? Is it? I have the right. I have the right. You ain't got no rights. Get out of here. <laughs> you sure told her, Wayne. Yeah, I did, didn't I? You were so strong. Peggy Sue, you wanna dance? Get lost, Billy. Sure. What can I get you? Soda? Cola? Root beer? Yeah. Root beer sounds good. Coming up. Hi there. Where's your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Sure you do. We seen you with that new girl. Uh, her, uh, 
Never saw her before today. Whoa, fast mover. <laughs> like I said, I don't have a girlfriend, right? Well, that's good to know. She's just a kid. I was looking out for her. Oh, that's nice. Want to dance, Sir Galahad? That's all I needed. In Annie's eyes, I was well and truly a member of Wayne's gang. She thought at that point in time, she, like Lucy, stood alone. Lucy! Lucy James! Yes? Hi, I'm Annie, Annie Collins. I saw you at the school this morning. That's right. I saw you with that boy. Yeah. Jess. I'm not talking to him anymore. Why? He's hanging out with that pack of ricknecks. They call themselves the wild ones. All right. I am. Anyway, um, what I wanted to say was, I thought you were really brave this morning at school, and I want to shake your hand. Federal Attorney General Robert Kennedy has ordered U.S. Marshals in Montgomery, Alabama to protect a church meeting held by Reverend Martin Luther King. Earlier, over 1,000 white citizens attacked a bus full of so-called freedom riders flouting segregation laws on state and interstate buses. At least 20 people are reported injured. That's enough of that. That Luther King, somebody ought to string him up. Boring, boring. Yeah, let's talk about something more interesting. Like what? Like you going to the harp on Saturday night? Yeah, I guess. Hey, here's that new girl. Guess who she'll be going with? Jess. Lucky thing. Excuse me? Two colas, please. She said two colas, please. I don't want no trouble. Go. Leave now. Two colas, please. I can't serve you. We've got money. I don't want your money. I want her out of here. Why? You know darn well why. I want to hear you say it. If you're not out of here in five seconds, I'm calling the sheriff. Fine. Go ahead and call him. Five, four, three, two, one. Trouble? Now get out of here! Okay, I'm leaving. She needs to be taught a lesson. That's right. If we have her coming here, we'll have the rest of them coming in here. What are we waiting for? Let's go get her. Come on, Jess, baby. Don't want to miss the fun, do ya? Lucy, how's my girl? I'm fine, thanks, Grandpa. You ain't been strutting around that school again. I've been in Henry's diner. Gotta do it, Grandpa. I'm sorry. Where is the life out of me, girl? You know that. You take care now. Here. Take this for your mom. Hey, what's this? There she is. Let's get her! Go, girl! Go! Yeah, come on!
Sounds like she's got a glass. Okay. Let's play hide and go seek. <laughs> yeah. Nothing in here. Looks like we must have lost her. Well, no sign. Looks like she clean got away. It's too bad. What are you looking at, old man? Oh, nothing. I'm looking at a whole heap of nothing. Why, you... <laughs> I didn't take any pleasure in going along with Wayne and his gang. But I couldn't see any other way. And besides, if you want the honest truth, I was scared. Hi. Hi. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry about what happened the other day. Yeah. I want to thank you. What for? For what you did for me. I didn't do anything. You let me get away. I should have had more courage to speak out, like Annie did. Try and stop them. You couldn't have. They would have turned on you, beaten you up. Yet all the same. Look, I better go. I just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome, man. Can we talk? Wow. I'd just like to know a bit more about you. About me? Really? Is that so strange? Yeah. But, uh, okay. Not here. Not now. Jess, where you been? Uh, nowhere in particular. You want to go to the movies tonight? No, I don't think so, thanks. They're showing the new Marilyn Monroe picture. I don't care much for movies. Well, you don't have to watch the movie. What are you saying? I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to be busy tonight. You got another date? Oh, no, of course not. You better not have. Anyhow, it's about time I be on my way. I'll see you guys in school tomorrow, right? Okay. Why wouldn't I? Because you're white and I'm black. Not all white folk are like Wayne, Billy, and all that crowd. Around here they are. No, they don't see us as human beings. In fact, they don't see us at all if they can help it. They don't mind having black women in their homes doing the cleaning. And they even have black nursemaids to look after their children. But if one of us want to do something better... And you do? I've got a brain of my own. No, I want to be a, a doctor or, or a lawyer. Or whatsoever I choose. So that's why you wanted to enroll at a high school? Well, I can't do nothing without an education. Yeah, but you must have your own school, right? Sure, we got a school. 
But we got no books, facilities, equipment. We don't want clever Negroes. Clever Negroes cause trouble. Like you, you mean? Yeah. This is a quiet little town. You know, all that stuff with Dr. King and Montgomery in the cities? It ain't got to Hicksville yet. Why not? I mean, your people know what's going on. Well, why don't they do something about it? Jazz folk who step out of line around here are likely to end up hurt or dead. They're scared. And you're not. Somebody's got to go first. Somebody's got to light the fire. Yeah, I just hope you don't get burned, huh? I'd hate that. Did you really? Really. He dumped you for her? It's time we learned him a lesson. Let's go. your doors. I'll lead them away. I can't leave you. Yes, you can. They're after me now. Go. Come on, go. Take a look at you. They're after, oh. me. They're after me. Who? Who did this to you? Oh, it doesn't matter. I better go before they get here. You do no such thing. I'll fetch some water and clean you up. Oh, you poor boy. Fast as a jackrabbit. Well, we hunted you out. Good riddance is all I can say. Now hold it just one minute. You need more than old Joe here to save you now. Wait. Wayne Shorter? Mammy? Yes. It's me. Just what you think you're doing upsetting decent folks like this. 
I... We just want him. Well, you just can't have him. You'll have to knock me down first. Oh, Mammy. Don't you? Oh, Mammy me. Just what you think you're playing it. This is all I get. After all the times I changed your dirty diapers <laughs> and wiped away your tears when you bumped your little head. Is it? Shame on you, Wayne. Shame on all of you. Chasing a poor defenseless boy like a hunted animal. What's he done to you to deserve such a thing? Well, go away. Go on. Go home, all of you. Okay. Yeah, she's fine. But come, um, I guess I should say sorry. What for? For all the things I said about you? Forget about it. I have. I told you. I didn't want you to get involved. This is not our fight. It's everybody's fight, Mr. Collins. No. Only troublemaking blacks, not decent law abiding white citizens. I mean, look what happened to you. Look at what happened to me. I was attacked by a bunch of decent, law-abiding white kids. And you know who saved my life? A couple of your troublemaking blacks. Yeah. Well. Look, Mr. Collins, your daughter here is a very brave girl. I think you should be proud of her. I am. Believe me, I am. I just don't want her getting hurt. That's why I've decided it's Time to move on. What? I've heard of a better job out west. Thought I'd give it a try. Okay? Honey Bunch? Not much Annie could do about that. But she was determined there was one thing we had to do first. Prejudice against people who are different is one of the oldest of all evils. One way or another, it's been the cause of most of mankind's misery, hatred, and heartache since time began. What happened in that small southern town in 1961 was only a small step on the road to better things. There was still a long way to go, and there always will be. But for so many, as a result of Annie's stance, it was the first step. And that's always the most important in any journey. 